thirdly, and one that as a nation I don't think we're coping enough with, is the loss of faith in government. You know, the civil rights movement, which I was on the tail end of, not in the middle of or the beginning of, but still at the tail end of it, people still had faith that government could do the right thing. We got the Civil Rights Act, we got the Fair Housing Act, we got the National Voting Rights Act. Um, people believed in government and in the law. And the loss of faith in that, I think, is a critical problem for your generation. Because if you don't have faith in your system of government, then we stop being a community. And once we stop being a community, it's going to be that much harder for us to make improvements in the quality of all of our lives. So how do you get that faith back? First, you vote. OK? Any college student who's a citizen who hasn't registered to vote you have failed. Okay? You fail. You are going to fail in life. Because if you choose to be a bystander, then you deserve everything bad that happens to you. We can only change. We can only change the conditions you don't like if each and every one of us becomes passionate about something. I don't really care what kind of thing you become passionate about. Maybe legalizing marijuana, but you know. <laughs> Even that has people who have been passionate and have accomplished something, OK? I just want you to pick something in your life that you don't like and that you work to change. It can be big or small. But if every one of us becomes active citizens, active participants in our community, we can make the necessary changes. And so I am a lawyer and a judge because I actually believe in the law. I believe in our system of government. And I believe that it can be for the better good. And so. For all of you, don't give up. Fight to make it better. Thank you so much.